Hey guys, this week I'm going to show you a couple of really easy, low and slow smoking setups on your Weber kettle. So I'm going to light my charcoal chimney here. I've got about 40 to 50 uh, briquettes in the charcoal chimney. So I'll get that lit and get it good gnashed over and ready to cook on. And uh, here we are 15 minutes later. It's all ready to rock. So what you're going to do is you're going to set up a, a two zone indirect uh, fire. Uh, what this does is you'll have all of your charcoal. on the It will be on the left side of the grill here. And uh, the food will go on the right side. So you'll have a hot area and a cool area. So this is the simplest way I can think to uh, smoke something in the backyard. This is something I do if I wanted to cook something for only two to three hours. Uh, if, you're, if you're new to cooking low and slow, this is the best way I think for you to start out. Next I'm going to take a water pan and uh, put it on the uh, right side of the grill. What the water does, it helps add moisture to the cook and uh, helps, it helps make a moist, uh, moist cooking environment and uh, this will help um, the smoke adhere to your meat and uh, also help it from drying out. I've boiled the water because if you don't boil the water uh, the Weber, the uh, charcoal is going to try to heat up the uh, heat up the water. Next I'm going to throw on some hickory wood and I'm good to go. The other method I'm going to show you guys today is called the fuse, sometimes called the snake method. So what you're going to do is you're going to dump a pile of charcoal in the center of your kettle and uh, you're going to take it and you're going to put it around the perimeter maybe about three quarters or maybe four fifths of the way around your kettle and you're going to stack them two wide and two on top of each other and uh, it's going to make like a C shape going around the outside of your kettle so it's going to look like, look like this when it's done and you're going to have five or six left over so right in the center you're going to light your Weber lighter cube and uh, once you get it lit there, you're just going to carefully lay on top of it these five or six uh, briquettes. And they're going to get ashed over. And uh, once they get ashed over, uh, in about five or ten minutes, you're going to take a pair of long-handled tongs. And uh, with long-handled tongs, you're going to just take them and very carefully lay them on one end of, uh, of your kettle. And it's going to burn like a fuse from one end to the other. And uh, if you do it right, you're going to have a temperature of around 250 degrees and I've had it go for eight hours without having to add extra charcoal. Again, I'm going to add the hot water for the same reason as before to help create a moist cooking environment as well uh, as to help uh, the, uh, the smoke adhere to, your, adhere to your food and also it kind of gives a safe place for some drippings and fat to fall into your, uh, into your water pan. It's not going to fall uh, on top of your charcoal and start a fire. The last thing I'm going to show you guys is how to regulate the temp on your grill for low and slow smoking. Uh, I like to use a, a second thermometer. My, my favorite is the Maverick ET732. It has both a pit probe and a food probe. So you can see I've got a probe put on the uh, cooking area where I'll be placing my meat and the wireless thermometer is going to tell me exactly uh, what, what my temperature is at the grate level. So what you're going to do is uh, set that up and it tells you exactly what the temp is here on the, wi on the wireless uh, transponder. And all you do is simply choke back your top vent. Leave your bottom vent open 100% and choke back your top vent until you get your pro until you get your kettle dialed in. It's going to take you a few tries to get this right. And uh, I wouldn't touch the bottom, uh, the bottom vent until you're, at, you're after going too hot. So say if you were at 300 degrees, then you'd uh, start dialing back your, your bottom vent. It's been 10 minutes and you can see that I've got the grill at 250 degrees and we're ready to cook. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, slap the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You can check me out on bbqwithjeff.com. I've got links to all my other uh, social media sites like Facebook and Twitter. Next week I'm going to be making some moink balls. They're a really awesome, simple appetizer that are uh, sure to be a crowd pleaser. Or if you want, they could be a shameful meal for one. Alright guys, see you next week.